Welcome back to Dreamweaver CS6 and today we're going to be talking about behaviors. Behaviors are how to make a web page interactive with your viewer and a real good way to see that is, to start with is let's insert a image rollover and what that is is that it's two images that will swap as you run your mouse cursor over it. So let's pick our first picture and then when we mouse over we're going to need a different picture and we'll give it some alternative text and when it we click on it it's going to go somewhere in this case it'll go to our home page okay so let's take a look at this first of all let's save that as roll over HTML okay and while we're waiting we'll put it so now we can see here that this is the script that goes into making that mouse roll over possible and we can see here that it is a JavaScript that has been placed up in the head section and if we highlight it the image we can see here on behaviors that there are two behaviors one on mouse over and one on mouse out and on mouse over it will swap the images and on mouse out it will return them real good so let's go ahead and put that at our testing server and if we reload it we can see now that when we mouse over the images change and when we click on it it follows the link and that is the fundamental concept behind behaviors so let's close that page and we put that behavior let's create a new page and we're just going to reuse the same name rollover.html and let's go ahead and put our image in there and we want to make sure and give our image a name okay so now let's before we did a rollover image and we were automated and putting in a script and a behavior and in this case we can manually insert a behavior so let's let this shake and we gotta select it we're gonna shake it on mouse over on mouse over and let's go ahead and put that up to the website and we can see that when we mouse over it shakes doesn't change the image anymore and why is that it's because of that's what our behavior is telling us to do now we can change our behavior by getting rid of it effects and we can tell it to shrink image one it'll take a thousand milliseconds or one one second to shrink and we can tell it to shrink from the center and we can say OK and that's on click and if we go to our web page and we click it we can see where it shrank now can we make, combine multiple behaviors sure we've got it'll shrink on click and how about if we tell it to pop up a message window that says I'm gonna shrink and we tell it to give us the pop-up menu on on mouse over on mouse over and 
let's go ahead and save that. We can see it's uploading. All right, so when we mouse over, I'm going to shrink. And we got to cancel that that's interfering. And there, so that's two pop ups. And you got to be careful. That was just a dialog box telling us uh, that it's going to interfere. See? And this just lets us prevent this page from creating an additional dialog. All right, so that's behaviors. Now, if we look at assets, we can see here are the images in our website, and these are colors. Here's a link we've used. We haven't done any shockwave, no flash, no videos. And here's the scripts that we use, so we might want to reuse them. And there is the cascading style sheet. Oh, that's a template, excuse me and those are assets they tell us about what's being used in this website snippets and here are just different already bits of code that we can use and that is behaviors my name's Lee thank you for viewing have a great day